Good evening, good evening. Hello, everyone. Um, I guess we are ready to start the show. Uh, as Lori just said to you earlier, please uh, mute um, your microphones on your computers or your smart devices and set your Zoom view to speaker view. And that way you actually will get that front row video. So let's start, okay? It's gonna be a great evening for all of us. So good evening, everybody. And welcome to Santa Monica College's third virtual Lamode 2022. I'm Ed Mangus and I'm a photography professor in the photo fashion department. You know, before 2020, I was always the MNC on a stage before a live runway show. It was amazing. But as all you know, in 2020, the world went to Zoom and still in 2021. And here we are again in 2022, virtual again. But I really wanna take a moment right now to thank those who guide our college on ground and virtually. Our esteemed superintendent, President Dr. Catherine Jeffrey. Our VP of Academic Affairs, Dr. Bradley Lane. Our VP of HR, Sherry Lee Lewis. Our VP of Student Affairs, Mike Tuatazzi. And we really want to thank the support of the Board of Trustees. But I really want to give a big shout to our photo fashion chair, Josh Sinceri. Yeah. And now I would like to acknowledge our Lamode virtual fashion show team. First, I would like to introduce Latanya Lewis, our show producer and collector's director, Wynn Armstrong, technical advisor, and of course, Lori Ivis, watch party producer, scripts visuals, industry judge director, photography, and the list goes on, and Lamode fashion show accessory stylist. I'm ready. I hope all of you are ready, but I need one person. Lori, where are you? Lori, Hey, where are I'm you? in first row, Ed. First row here. Oh, let Hi, me everybody. move my camera. <laughs> Aha. All right. I'm here. Hi, you are too. Anyway, thank, thank you, Ed, and welcome, everybody. And I figure I'm just going to continue our list of thanks. Um, this year, we did the most to connect, not just across Zoom, but across departments and campuses by joining forces with Radalia Shaw of the Media Communications Department in order to take the virtual aspects of Lamode one step further. Just wait, you'll see. And of course, special thanks to all our fashion faculty, photo faculty and amazing advisory board. Many of them who prejudged this LA Lamode collections you're gonna see tonight. Now we're gonna reveal the voting results after the show for creativity, marketability, sustainability, and outstanding collection. That'll be Latanya's job. But now for now, let's just go on with the show. Ed, you wanna take it away? Yeah, let's do it right now. Okay, everyone. So let's just sit back, relax, enjoy yourself. And here we are. We're gonna look at La Mode 2022. Enjoy yourselves, everyone. Hello, and welcome to Lamode 2022, the third virtual version of the Santa Monica College Fashion Department's annual fashion show, presenting the talents of our fashion design and fashion merchandising students. Our annual theme is, where sustainability and technology meet fashion. I am Latanya Lewis, fashion design professor and collections director. This amazing work that you're about to see cannot be created without the guidance and instruction of all fashion faculty in this department throughout the fashion program. And now I am truly proud to present the Virtual Limo 2022 Fashion Show featuring the collections of nine designers. Now, let's take a look behind the scenes of the designers at work to see how the whole process took place. Over the past 17 weeks, our designers have been working tirelessly at bringing their visions to life, from conception to creation, all beginning with a sketch, swatches of fabric, and skill sets of draping and flat pattern drafting. Working days and nights, meeting with models for multiple fittings to get the fit just right. Time and much work very well spent, as you will see.
And now for the Rameau 2022 Fashion Show. What inspired me to become a fashion designer is that the fashion industry is an exciting and creative industry which is exactly the type of energy I wanted in my life. My collection is couture with beautiful flowers and black and gold colors. The inspiration behind my collection is flowers. My fan talent is doing embroidery sequence. My sustainable idea for the fashion industry is to continue to find ways to avoid practicing fast fashion to reduce pollution. I would like to see more virtual practices in the fashion industry to help with using less gas, less pollution, and less overhead expenses. Yeah, comment, follow, share. My inspiration behind this collection would be my trip to the Met in New York City and I just loved all of the paintings, especially my favorite artist, Georgia O'Keeffe, and I wanted to bring her elegant and clean cut style together with the really decorative details of all of the classical paintings at the Met. The words to describe my collection would be fun and elegant, but also androgynous. Who inspired me to become a designer would have to be all the women that I've grown up around. My mother, my grandmother on both sides of my family, also my Barbies and my American Girl dolls. I would love to collaborate with Betsy Johnson. I love her style. I've grown up watching her runway shows and watching her do cartwheels down the runways. My sustainable ideas for the fashion industry would be to put the name of who made the garment into the label tag and where it was made to bring some personality into the clothing.
I was inspired by my mom, who saw everything from clothing to handmade goods. So as a child, I always accompanied her. It was natural for me to get into fashion. I would describe my collection as contemporary cruise wear with wedding fashion influence. My collection is applying the concept of wedding garments into modern daily wear. As a designer, I embrace slow fashion with hand stitching and well-detailed constructions. I would love to collaborate with Keita Maruyama, who is famous Japanese fashion designer. He's famous for a hand stitching and has beautiful Asian taste with well details. What inspired me to become a fashion designer initially was to be able to help reduce the overall waste of the fashion industry. I wanted to make sure that the job that I dedicated my life to was able to impact the planet um, in a better way and help um, reduce the overall waste. The words that best describe my collection would have to be edgy, um, sexy, and avant-garde. I wanted to be able to implement some designs that were um, able to flatter the curvy bodies of women. It's been really challenging for us to create upcycled collections because there isn't very much cohesion in terms of the materials that we're using. My name is Kajal Sharma. My inspiration behind this collection was the earth and its elements. So fire, water, earth, and air. I wanted to really incorporate the natural beauty of the earth that we live on. Also with my collection, I wanted to um, emphasize my message as a designer, which is to push boundaries, push past limitations, and really embrace your body and your self-confidence through your fashion. I think the words that would describe my collection are powerful, courageous, and free-spirited. I would definitely collaborate with Thierry Mugler. I love his designs. I think it's so futuristic, so cutting edge, and I would love to reach that level of creativity and have that courage to create things that not everyone will understand.
little, I really like to design clothes for my dolls and drawing clothes. So I just grew to like it even more. And um, I started watching fashion shows and I was like, I want to be there one day. So here I am, majoring in fashion design. Um, my collection is about space, so it's just all about the colors of space and everything. And I just want it to be really unique with the colors and yeah, to be out of this world, I guess. Recycle clothing that people don't need anymore and doing them into new garments. Clothes that shift colors. Um, hi, I'm Tyler McDaniel. So what inspired me to become a designer? I've always loved fashion. Originally it was fashion photography that I was passionate about. I realized that it was actually the fashion that I was in love with, so I switched gears and started studying fashion design. If I could collaborate with a designer, it would be Alexander McQueen. Especially with his collections and his runway shows, it was always uh, pushing the boundaries. And inspiration behind this collection was a socialite or a celebrity going to on a trip to Paris and the things that she would need. Dinners, events, and carpet taking. Words that would describe my collection would be sophisticated, powerful, sexy, and classic. And sustainable ideas. Anything I create, I do try to do it with a specific quality so things last a long time and things aren't just getting thrown away. Customers won't have to keep recycling, throwing out, buying new. New technology and helping people connect like their personal style to designers that would work for them. I would collaborate with Daniel Rosberry because he has a modern and uh, innovative creative vision. Besides, he is an amazing, talented designer. Salvador Dali's artwork uh, was inspiration behind my collection because of objects and symbols such as keys, flowers, lobsters, telephone, and uh, also mysterious characters like um, ghosts, angels, and uh, mannequins. The word that describes my collection is gala. Salvador Dali 
named his wife Gala, whose real name was Elena Ivanovna Diakonova. She was a mysterious and highly intuitive woman. I'm very considerate of humanity and the environment. My contribution to the industry would be to find more ways to recycle and reuse materials to reduce the number of clothing that ends up in the landfills each year. My collection is inspired by photos taken by Mika Ninagawa. She is a photographer and film director. I really like her work. They are attractive and inspirational for me. Fashion industry can be more sustainable by developing new eco-friendly materials. Collecting used clothes and making clothes from recycled materials is also a sustainable way to make clothes. Because of the pandemic, I've been buying more clothes online. But I felt the disadvantage was that I couldn't try them on. If I could collaborate with the designer, it would be with Roller. She is model, but also she is founder of sustainable brand Studio 330. I'd like to create a sustainable line with her. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next year for LaMelo 2023. The winners for this year's show are posted on Instagram at SMC LaMode and on Facebook at SMC LaMode Fashion Show. Mute yourself. I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> I would actually say I was speechless. That was fantastic, everybody. Give them a round of applause. Come on. Yes. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, listen. So what I want to do right now, I would like to welcome Latanya Lewis, our fashion show producer and collector director and delightful Lamode voiceover artist. Yeah. All right, LaTanya, here you go. Thank you, A. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and congratulations to all the designers. A great majority of them are right here watching the show, right here on, on campus at SNC. I hope you all enjoyed the show. This year was a bit different than the last two years as we gradually moved back on ground into back into the design studio. 
It was truly gratifying to witness the creativity of the students and guide the building of their collections in person and online. I am so proud of them. And what's great is that all of you can check out the Instagram at SNC Limode and to see all the highlights of their collections as well. Again, that's SNC Limode. Always got to give that plug. Follow us, please. <laughs> And now let me introduce our Photoshop Illustrator guru, guru <laughs> Wynn Armstrong. Hey, thanks, LaTanya. Well, this is the third year Lamote has been virtual. And through all this time, technology has been constantly growing in our fashion world. Student designers now incorporate digital skills in developing their logos, mood boards, textile prints, and technical flats, skills that are now mandatory in the fashion industry. And right now, around the corner, tomorrow's designers will be virtually designing in the metaverse. Latana and I just visited the Gucci and Dolce and Gabbana pop-ups at the first metaverse fashion week this March. But we didn't see Lori. Hey, I know, I know. I cannot believe I missed any shopping experience, IRL or virtual, but I did. Okay, next time. But anyway, it's the way it goes. Um, what I thought I'd do now is I'm going to want to kind of give some thanks, a little bit more thanks uh, out visually to you all. So I'm going to share the screen just like school, but not here. And I want to go through some amazing people that have made this show possible and just uh, and our program possible let's put it that way um first off the show wouldn't have even happened without the amazing support of the magna carta foundation thank you president andrew Fergach, for your continuing support also our great fashion advisory board as we call them our second family uh they're involved with everything that we do the media communications department, as you guys saw in the behind the scenes. Thank you, Redelia, and shout out to Thorin and Gail, and I'm so sorry, anybody else I'm not thanking here. And thanks to Debbie Peretz, hair and makeup students in the cosmetology department, okay? Everything looked great on at the photo shoots and on the runway due to them. And our photography departments, thanks to Ed Mangus and Josh Withers and Wright Center Square and Josh Sanseri, our chair. Always we thank Ilsa Metric of the California Fashion Foundation. She's an advisory board member, but founding member of the CFA. And each and every year they offer a thousand dollar scholarship to fashion students, usually in their second year. And we are so happy that Aaron Bond, our Aaron Bond received the thousand dollar 2022 um, CFF scholarship for her wonderful work and a fashion alum of SMC. Well, now Mattel design manager and toy designer, Simi Kumes, who's now so happy she's on our advisory board as well. She came up with a, a project, the Santa Monica and Mattel internship um, project. And this last year, 2021, Harmony Baird and Melanie Hilliard won the internship. Only difference is, uh, Melanie never left. She was actually hired and she is now a full-time employee of Michelle, uh, Mattel. And I got to tell you, we couldn't have done this and a lot of things in the fashion department with our, without our Anne-Marie Leahy of Career Services. I know she's out there, but she, like I said, this is, these are the kind of projects that we, when we need help, that she is always there for us. Well, another great thing that happened, uh, our major Jay uh, Kennedy of of I think it was 2018, he showed in La Mode and he's even modeled up there, you see. He was actually selected for the 2022 Nike design crew by Serena Williams. And as we speak now, he's in Beaverton, Oregon. And he's been there since March of 2022. We were so lucky this year to have the guru of, guru of leather and LA style, Henry Duarte. Uh, he came several times to the collections class and just shared his industry knowledge, samples of his work, and we were, it was inspiring to all of us. And we have Susan Coco to thank for that. And just, you know, coincidentally, Susan again is providing us uh, or s providing students with a wonderful, wonderful uh, support system with her scholarship um, uh, project. So let me, let me call out Susan if you're here. 
I'm here. Oh, yay. Thank Hi. You. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm proud to announce the recipient of this second year of the Samuel Colco Memorial Scholarship in honor of Samuel, an alum of SMC, and my beloved son. In his memory, an annual scholarship to a deserving fashion student whose focus is on sustainability and environmental concerns is awarded each year. Please visit our SMC Foundation website if you'd like to contribute in building this scholarship future. I'm happy to announce that Anna Carlson is this year's recipient for embracing the principles of sustainability, global awareness and ethics and business practices, textile production, and fashion direction in her educational and career goals. All of these things so important to our Sam. Thank uh, you. Thank you so much, Susan. Um, uh, and congratulations, Anna. Now, uh, every year uh, for the last five or so years, our department has um, established a Style and Substance Award. Now, just for a brief overview, each year, our department recognizes fashion industry professionals who have contributed to the industry itself, but also to students' futures by setting high standards of creativity, ethics, and business acumen by example. Now, this year, we are pleased to honor Brenda Cooper, our, the Emmy Award-winning costume designer of the iconic series, The Nanny, where Fran Drescher's character, Fran Fine, was not only a queen of comedy, but due to Brenda's creative eye, the queen of style. Just, just I'm gonna do a quick list here. Uh, as you see here, there is, she is so multifaceted. She is an image consultant, celebrity stylist, author, keynote speaker, uh, media personality. I'm just gonna keep clicking because she's, she's everything, as well as, a supportive member of our Santa Monica Advisory Board. Um, and it's no wonder that new audiences are experiencing the fashion whirlwind of the nanny now on HBO Max and circulating a whole new appreciation of Brenda's work on TikTok, Instagram, and more. Besides this and other television shows on her resume, Brenda was co-host of E! Channel's Fashion Emergency. Now her consistent devotion to promoting education and sincere desire to help make people look and feel their best through her image and color consulting business led to authoring her new book, The Silhouette Solution. Now here's just a quick look. There's that book, you guys all available at Amazon. It's amazing, beautifully designed and beautiful content. She's a keynote speaker. She's a color and executive image consultant. She's a media personality from in front and behind the scenes in media. And I just happened to notice that Grace said one of her inspirations was Betsy Johnson. Well, there's Brenda hugging Brits, Betsy Johnson in the screen there. She's a costume designer of Happily Divorced. She's a costume designer of Better Late Than Never. She, but she's the Emmy award-winning costume designer of The Nanny. And let me tell you, it's it just, it, it, it what, something about fashion, when it stays and is revisited, this is a true classic. I mean, I couldn't even fit in all the headlines from all the coverage of The Nanny due to, due to Brenda Cooper. And by the way, The Nanny's hashtag has more than 76.1 million, million hits. So just so you see here, how shop Fran Fine style, how costume designer Brenda Cooper ensured The Nanny's fashion would live forever. And I'm just gonna, I didn't, I'm not gonna borrow, I'm just gonna actually pull a quote. It's clear by way of social media's continued resurfacing of Fran's outfits that Cooper's designs for the show have transcended time. Uh, uh, let's put it this way, an entire career of style and substance. We're so proud to know you and have you be part of our fashion family. Brenda, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Uh, Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, great, great. I just, we just wanted to thank you in person, kind of, on Zoom for all you do for the, the program and just your participation in every aspect. <laughs> you want to say a few words? Yes, I, mean, I, I just want to say, can you hear me? Yes, yep. Yep. Okay, so I, I just want to say, first of all, thank you for giving me this award. 
Um, my two passions in life are style and substance. So it's a complete honor. Um, I'm so thrilled and moved to be a part of the community of Santa Monica College and on the advisory board. And I'm so thrilled to have colleagues and friends like you and Ed and Jemmy and Wynne, who you're not just teachers. And I always say this, you, you, each of you individually are so passionate about what you do. And you're so passionate about passing it on and educating students. You're not just teachers, but you give your passion to everything that you do. And you all live fashion, style and substance 24 seven, as I do. So I'm, I'm proud and honored to be a part of the community. Um, congratulations to all the students. Uh, you've done terrific work. I love that you're carrying on the legacy of fashion into the future and moving with the times, um, these tremendously challenging times, but continuing your education. My one tip for you is to definitely look to the past to create for the future, because that's what I did in creating the nanny. That's what won me an Emmy, is the influence of the past into the future. Um, I love seeing all your work. I love seeing the passion of the students. And again, I'm just honored, thrilled, delighted, and so happy to be a part of this community. And thank you so much for choosing me for this year's Style and Substance Award. <laughs> Well-deserved, well-deserved. Thank you, thank you, Brenda. Uh, and, and now I wanted to, Pat, we'll kind of continue the route with such an inspirational, um, I'd, say, I'd say a team. Um, Santa Monica College Fashion Department has a fashion club called the Future of Fashion or FFC, okay? And we just wanted to make sure everybody knows about that first off, okay? That's number one. But I wanted to make sure that um, someone that really, really spearheaded last year, co-spearheaded the reformation of the club was recognized. And this year, this particular person is actually the president of the club. You've heard her name already because uh, her name is Erin Bond, who is the winner of the CFF scholarship. And right now, and she also, by the way, was a recipient of the Samuel Coco Memorial Scholarship. So again, devoted, devoted student. I want to congratulate her, but but I also want to call upon her because we every year we give an, a, an award to another fashion forward student. And I'd love to have Aaron do the honor. So Aaron, are you, the, I, I'm seeing in the speaker box. Are you there? Hi, I'm here. Oh, great, great. How are Thank you? you guys? And um, hello, everyone. Um, so first, I wanted to um, announce the future fashion award to uh, Grace Fredette. We are so excited for your collection. We really thought that you, um, you know, tried to exhibit both sustainability and inclusivity. So we wanted to award uh, her with this award. Um, she's been an active club member and a contributor to our Fashion Talk magazine. And um, for SMC students, I highly encourage you all to join the fashion club next semester. Um, there's just so many great opportunities if you join the club and things that you learn about, scholarships and exciting events. So uh, highly recommend joining the club. Great. And thank, thank you. Thank you, Erin. And it's, it's because of your uh, uh, participation and it's grown to be so wonderful. Thank you again. Thank you. So now I'm, I'm so excited to introduce, well, not introduce, what am I saying? Uh, bring LaTanya back because she's gonna uh, announce the LaMode Runway Awards. LaTanya? All right, hello everybody, hello again. Okay, here we go with the awards. First, I'd like to mention that this year's winners will be awarded Amazing Dress Forms and Overlots donated by Netflix. Producers of the Next in Fashion, Reality Fashion, challenge show hosted by Alexa Chung and Tan uh, France. Do you guys remember that show? Uh, well, they're the ones that donated these gifts for our designers. And also for the past winners of the virtual Limo 2020 and 2021, they too will receive gifts. So we're very excited about that. Um, next, 
I'm also happy to announce that the iconic brand Chrome Hearts, the coolest leather jewelry accessories and apparel brand, which started locally in Malibu, is partnering with our fashion department and bringing on internships and apprenticeships for our students. So we're looking forward to sharing updates about, uh, about this exciting opportunity with you all at our next Lamode. We also want to thank Lauren Moshi for their donation of the mini bolts of knitwear and fleece fabric given to all our design students. And we're anticipating their zero waste design challenge idea to be enhanced, or excuse me, to be enacted in the future. Speaking of sustainability and zero waste, I'm happy to announce our first award recipient, the Award for Sustainability. There's actually a tie, you guys, for the first place award. Uh, the first first place award will go to Grace Fredette. <laughs> okay, congratulations, Grace. And the second first prize for sustainability award goes to Tamaki Arai. Okay, the second place for sustainability goes to Iri Umeda. <laughs> They're actually cheering in the background. Yes. So I'm waiting for it, you know, after they cheer to announce an excellent. And the honorable mention for sustainability goes to Alexa Gates. Next, the award for creativity. The first place goes to Arzu Aref. <laughs> so cute. My and God, second, I can hear him over here. <laughs> <laughs> and second place for creativity goes to Grace Fredette. Congratulations, you all. Congratulations. There's many more. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now we're going to go to creativity. Second place for, oh my God, I lost my Wait. place. That's what I get. Honor, that's okay. Honor, there's too much distractions of the applause. <laughs> okay, so I didn't announce second place, did I? For creates. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. I did. Okay. Yep. okay, next, next, next. Okay, now, uh, here we go. Now we have honorable mentions for creativity. We have three honorable, honorable mentions. Tomasa Chapier <clears throat> for creativity. Uh, Tyler McDaniel, he gets an honorable mention for creativity. And Alexa Gates gets an honorable mention for creativity. Okay. Our next award goes to, uh, is for marketability. When would you like to announce marketability? Definitely. For marketability, the first place goes to Tyler McDaniel. Congratulations. The second place award for marketability goes to Maki Arai. Congratulations again. And Latanya, since you were collections director, you want to announce the outstanding collection? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, I would. Designers, you are all winners to us and you made it through the pandemic. I am so proud of you. And you were so inspiring to me, just watching you work and didn't let anything stop you. So just amazing and wonderful work that you've done. I'm so proud. And you came through like champions. So the judges have voted that the outstanding collection goes to Grace Fredette. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations congratulations grace and once again the warders will be getting their choice of gifts provided by netflix Lori Wynn and myself and all of our fashion faculty are sending out congrats and love out to each and every student as you can see our love and our hearts there <laughs> okay well we hope that you all are ready for Lamo 2023. We hope to see you there. Hey, and don't forget to visit our SMC Lamo homepage. That's smc.edu slash Lamo because the show will be posted on July 1st. So you can see the show again and share it with friends as many times as you want. Okay, for forever, <laughs> it'll be posted. That All is right. great. Oh my God, that is great. And also I wanted to uh, congratulate Latanya on your first year as full-time uh, uh, faculty member. 
uh, so, and how'd you like now doing five classes and producing oh. a show and whatever? Thank you. Five uh, classes again. and then some. That's what so, it felt like. Amazing, amazing. <laughs> so, Ed, you know what? As usual, let's, we'll keep the traditions going. Okay. Uh, you wanna, do you want to <clears throat> take it away? Sure do, Laura. I will. Okay. All right, everyone. So, listen. Let's really give a congratulations to all the students this year and to all of those students who graduated. We really do look forward to seeing you next year for La Mode 2023. So have a happy, healthy, stylish, and a very safe summer. Good night, everybody. Thank you for joining Bye. us, okay? We'll see you next year. Thanks again. Bye-bye.